G'day sports fans, it's Phantom 100 here. Welcome back to Destiny 2! Fueled by Juiced Energy. If you don't want to have any more lag or latency in that old brain of yours, try some Juiced. It is an Australian-made, sugar-free, crash-free energy formula with lots of flavours. Tastes great. Use code PHANTOM. That's P-H-A-N-T-O-M, all the capitals, for 10% off all your orders. It really helps the channel out, we're sponsored by them, and it's really awesome. So check out the website, link is in the description. And today, we're doing probably one, another one of my favourite uh, heavy weapons. You better tell from the title and everything, that's why you clicked on it. You want to see it? It is one of my favourite exotic weapons. It is an exotic sword. It is the Black Talon. Wow! <laughs> Black Talon is equivocally one of the coolest looking guns in this game. Well, I was about, I was about to say gun, but I meant to say weapon. I really like this thing. It's really cool. Uh, one of my friends, it is her personal favourite. She's always loved this weapon. Ever since she got it, she used it exclusively for probably... Several weeks straight, I want to say. Probably to almost a month. Like, she play used it exclusively. She loves the sword. And uh, we're going to go and talk about the sword and then take it through a strike and show you exactly how devastating it is. And to if we can get to use it against them, it does pretty meaty boss damage too. So if you want something fun for PvE, I'm going to immediately recommend this thing if you like swords. So, the intrinsic trait is the Crow's Wings. Press your right trigger. So, your right trigger if you're using controller or whatever your melee attack button is on uh, keyboard and mouse, which for, the, for me is C. I think it's C by default, but yeah. Um, fire a heavy projectile attack. Heavy attacks are strongest, stronger with full energy. So your energy for the sword is full. So you wait for your, like your... It's like a melee cooldown. So you wait for the cooldown to recharge. It's really quick. And um, the attacks are heavier. But it fires a projectile. So there are legendary swords that do this now. But this one does way more damage than Legendary Swords does. The damage is insane. It probably, it feels like it does more than double the damage they do. So, well, it is worth the exotic slot if you don't have anything else fancy. Um, then we also have Titus Blade, Sword Ammo Granite for every other powered Sword Kill, Heavy Guard, Tempered Edge. So it doesn't have like a secondary crazy perk like uh, other exotic weapons do, but the Heavy Projectile is really, really strong. So, on the first look, it might not look much more fancy than a regular Legendary Sword, but I guarantee you, that is not the case. There's also a really, 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 really cool ornament for it called the Tangled Paladin, which I actually have. It's really nice. Makes it all black and suave and fancy. We are just going to be using the base look for it, because even that is still really nice. But uh, yeah, it doesn't look like on the outside it does anything too fancy compared to others, but uh, the damage is quite strong. On our Hunter today, so like our last video with, with the Titan, we're now going to be trying out the Void Nightstalker Hunter class. I'll quickly go over it this time. Uh, I've picked Echo of Expulsion, Echo of Leeching, and Echo of Dilation, and we've gone for Vanishing Step, and Trapper's Ambush for lots of invis, have a lot of fun with that, so I'm looking forward to trying that out today. I'm pretty excited about the Void reworks, and I'm really excited about the uh, upcoming reworks for the other uh, elements for each season, because I don't know which, I don't know what order they're doing it in unless they have announced it, but like, next season will be either the Ark of Solar one, and the following season is the third and final, so uh, let me know in the comments which uh, rework you're the most excited for. And what you'd like to see them keep, or change, or put together in a combo, or that sort of thing. I'd love to hear your thoughts on uh, the solar and arc changes that are coming. But we're going to load up a strike now, and uh, have some fun with the sword. And the modifiers are still arc and brawler. Okay, so brawler is uh, melee abilities do more damage. That'd be good, because I think the sword counts as a melee, I'm not sure. Um, arc, not so much, because it's a void sword, but it'll be okay. Hopefully we get plenty of heavy ammo. But uh, we'll kill off for this, and uh, we'll be right back, gamers! <laughs> And we're here at the start of a strike. Oh, this is a brand new one. Birthplace of the Vile. I do not know this one. Birthplace of the Vile, locate the Dark City. This must be a Witch Queen strike. Pretty exciting. I don't know. It looks like I've joined it in progress as well. So uh, let's whip out a big old sword. Can't see it very well here. Ready? Heavy attack. So it's a lot faster than heavy attacks from legendary swords. Let's wind up. It's just a quick little... And you can do it in conjunction. Ready? We go whoop, whoop, whoop. Like that. So you can do model strikes. It's pretty fun. Huh. Like that, see? It's really, really fun. So we'll do as much of the strike as we can uh, with the sword out. Again, I've not done this strike before, because this is a new one. So this is pretty pretty exciting stuff. So we're going to play as much of this game as we can in third person, and uh, pretend to know what we're doing. You can do regular swings as well. Um, but of course, you make the most of it with this beam, which also has a bit of homing as well. Yay! Okay, we are now out of ammo for it, so we're going to switch to uh, a less... Uh, a, le uh, a more orthodox uh, choice. Got a hand cannon and a sniper rifle. Pretty much the standard hunter loadout, really. <laughs> hand cannon, sniper rifle, sword. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just going forward, basically. Void wall grenade! Oh, let's try the smoke grenade. 
Ah, oh, look at that invisibility. <laughs> That's cool. I like it. Whole idea is to stay invisible as long as possible. Which I do like. Do we go that way, or...? Wow, I just do not know the strike. This is pretty fun. I was hoping I'd get a new strike so it would make it really random for the video because I'm trying to commentate, trying to explain what I'm doing, and, uh, you know, also getting a whole new experience. And again, I don't know how far into the strike I joined. It's definitely not the very start. Um, yeah. How many strikes they add to Witch Queen? Let me know in the comments. How many they add? Because I literally haven't t had time to look it up. And uh, let me know your thoughts on the new strikes. Do you like this one? Do you like one of the other new ones? Um, general opinions. I want to know. I want to know how you guys are feeling about Witch Queen. I would love to hear from anybody watching, for sure. Love hearing opinions and thoughts and all that. All that what have you. Ooh, this is a pretty area though, isn't it? Okay. This guy in front of us is absolutely destroying these guys. It's a, uh, that's a Vortex Grenade, so he's definitely playing Void as well. Honestly, anybody that I come across is not using Void, I'm like, oh really? You're actually like, you're not trying the changes? Or maybe they did, and now they're just like, I've had enough, you know? Yeah, it's been a little while since I played Hunter, so I feel a bit rusty on the jumps. Oh, we have sword ammo. Perfect. Go back to the sword mode. Clear corruption. Okay. That's interesting. Oh, what the fudge is that? Are we going there? Whoa! Okay. Man, I love this weapon. As soon as I, because I didn't have it. When my friend was addicted to using the sword, I didn't have it yet. And once I got it, I was like, oh, that's why you like it so much. It's insane. Like the damage it can do to bosses is absolutely nutty. I'm not exaggerating when I say that. This sword is cra- oh god, a jumping bit. Huh. Oh no! No! No, my triple jump failed me! <laughs> <laughs> kind of got knocked off there by a teammate. Not their fault, it happens. I probably should have waited my turn, honestly. What we can do... Oh, we could go invisible sword style. We might do that. Okay, I'm gonna try and... Man, I have not done hunter jumping in a hot minute. Okay, but you can make it across with just a simple with a single jump, which is good to know. Where is that attacking from? I'm gonna go across here. I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay. Well, he, he, he gave that... He taught that a lesson, didn't he? Just supered it. Gave it the bow. So he's also... Are they both hunters? No, that's a warlock. That's a warlock in front of us. This is the hunter who's also using the void bow like I am. I wonder if the, I wonder if the warlock is a void lock, as people call it. Resident slabs disabled. What the fudge is this objective? I wonder if this is part of the story. Oh, we just destroyed him and he watched his damage. And he's dead. Okay, two hits didn't quite kill him there. Kind of depressed that it didn't, but it is what it is. We are out of sword shots once again, unfortunate. But see, if I was playing Crucible, I wouldn't get any ammo at all. If I was playing Gambit, I'd only get ammo if I got to the ammo box in time. So I feel like my best chances of it spawning is in strikes. I just forgot that uh, I'd be getting this experience. But I don't know what I'm doing. Maybe a sniper isn't a good idea. Like, right now. Probably. Oh, hello there, Mr. Big Health Bar Man. Imagine if he dropped heavy, that'd be amazing. I am bad at sniping, I've not done it in a hot minute. Oh, the worst sniping gameplay ever. <laughs> How about a void wall grenade? That will get the job done a lot better. Oh, yes, we can do our super now. Two invisible! Woohoo! I love this super. I think it's really cool. I also cast it at the absolute worst time, I realise now. Because <laughs> there's no enemies for to kill with it. Fudge. Do you feel fart? Do you smell? Do you feel smart now, Phantom? Yeah, I feel really, really smart. I feel so intelligent. Dilation. What the fudge does that do? Okay, I have no idea what that is. I get it when I crouch, so I don't know what I'm doing. It must be something to do with the one of the things I picked. Oh, more enemies here. Let's try and snipe them. Snipe the exploding bros! Wow, I'm just bad. Oh my god, my close range work is really bad. Turn invisible. <laughs> ba ba. Did see. Oh god. <laughs> oh, I literally let that happen. I can't believe I let those exploded bros kill me. I'm just a nerd. Man, I'm so rusty. I'm so rusty using hand cannon as well. Jesus. I normally use hand cannon all the time, but I haven't used one on my warlock for a little while because of the new weapons we're getting, so, uh... Yeah, my hand cannon aiming is very off. Where do we go here? 
I literally do not know what we're doing. I'm leaving it up to these guys to lead the way. Because I'm assuming they've done this before. Traverse the Dark City. We're not getting any uh, indicators saying, <laughs> Go here, Guardian! Where did teammate go? Wait, what? Oh, we go over there. He's letting us know. He's communicating the only way he can. With bullets. Bullet language. I too speak the language of bullets. Well, let's do this in third person. The sword may be empty, but let's do it in third person. It's more fun that way. Oh! Grenadia! We can actually technically use the sword. Like, we can actually use it. It won't do much, but... Ready? Huh. <laughs> yep, empty sword run. Let's do it. Let's let's actually do that. Let's, that'd be kind of fun, wouldn't it? An empty sword run. Clear corruption. Okay, cool. Sword looks kind of weird when it's, uh... Empty. <laughs> oh, jump through here. Okay, I'm getting the gist of this thing now. So we've got to go in here, through the portal, do stuff, clear our enemies. Oh god, Ellie. I was worried I messed up that jump then. Man, if I was on my warlock, I'd be way more uh, uh, comfortable doing this. This is this is so scuffed. Oh, he, they he froze us. Rude. Rude little boy freezing us. All right, you know what? I need to uh. Turn visible. I love the the new dodge animation. The dodge animation's sick. I like that. Probably shouldn't be using an empty sword like that. It's pretty uh. Pretty foolish of me. Oh, I could stop this guy. <laughs> Never mind. He did. <laughs> he fell to his death. Did they knock him off or did he fall off by accident? Wait, what? This way? Oh. Oh. I know, I know, I know. I know what I'm doing, buddy. Calm down. <laughs> I know. We go through this thing. Glad they're being helpful, though. See, some Destiny players could be nice and non-toxic. You just gotta... You just gotta search for them. God, if somebody would drop heavy ammo, that'd be really, really great. Why don't I throw that? <laughs> it does actually still do damage to them. Impressive. Oi! Oh no, I'm being shot. Turn invisible. I do like having all these invisibility options now, because now I have the smoke, and I can dodge. Absolutely love it, because I'm pretty sure in the old Void subclasses, you couldn't have invisibility dodge and invis smoke bomb. They were both part of separate trees. Oh, he is the Void Warlock. Let's go. Oh, sniper time. Huh. All of that damage. Oh, we ranked up with level three. Yay, it looks like we played the game now. Fights, that was the worst. That was the worst shot of my life. Huh. Oh, no, I had to reload. Fights, that sucks. Now, maybe one of these big guys will spawn some heavy for us. I would very much like that. Have a super back, too, which is great. Have a nice opportunity to do that again. Makes me think they're using the darkness energy in this place to build some sort of lair. Best we clean them out. Okay, that's cool. Alright, I was wondering if we were going to get a little bit of like a story dialogue at some point to give us any kind of context to this. Oh, another one of these. Clear the corruption. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to super. I'm going to do it. This is a boss dude. I think I did the right time. I made a good choice, I think. Maybe I should turn invisible here. Oh, got him! <laughs> Where'd he go? Huh. I'm very bad at that super. Let's just void grenade there in case he goes into it. Oh, I'd love to have the Black Talon here to show you guys how much damage the Black Talon can do. Maybe something will drop heavy ammo. And I can hit the boss. And you'll see the ticks. So you can see 1800, 2000 with hand cannon. That gives you a bit of an idea. This is one of those faster firing hand cannons, but... Gives you a gauge on the damage. Now, if we can just get sword ammo, that'd be wonderful. Oh, whoa, 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 too close. <laughs> it does still hurt him. I like it. Smoke grenade can be used offensively still. I just, I would really like. All right. Oh, jeez. No, 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 no. I don't want you in my face. I want to snipe you. Kindly, please, fudge. My scuffed um, weapon review video ever, for sure. My God. Cannot. Did someone take care of that thing? Yes. To the face? No. No, I'm not getting his face. I'm wasting my time doing this. Invisible. And then, foot grenade. Which hit nothing. Man, I'm bad. Can I just get some sword ammo, please? I'd really, 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 really like it. I'm wasting my time with the sniper rifle. Should have brought a shotgun. 
Should have brought a shotgun. I should have anticipated, like, Phantom, you're going to be trash. Bring a shotgun. You can shoot it in the face. It'd be great. Why don't you just do that and use your brain? No. You kept the sniper rifle equipped. <laughs> this guy has a lot of health, man. We've hardly done any damage to him. We haven't even done a third yet. Tank your boy. I guess if I landed my shots, though, it'd be more effective. Just someone please give us some heavy already? We got down teammate. We got down teammate. Resing him. Okay, we're both resing him. Teamwork. Oh, how did he res him first? I swear I thought I got there faster. Wait, what? He's immune again. Nice. This boss. He's immune? How's he immune? The fudge? How dare you? I do be immune to damage. Wait, he's teleported us. Okay, this is cool. Okay, I like this. Oh, God. Oh, I forgot about this. You get Deadfall now. This used to be just a stasis thing. But now you can do it as a hunter, as a void hunter, and you can turn your friends invisible. It just uses up your smoke grenade. Which is kind of worth it, I think. Oh, oh please don't knock me off. Oh, please don't knock me off, teammate. <laughs> All right. Bop. Bop, 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 bop. He's dead. It's not very nice. Oh, God, this is not good at all. Don't worry, guys. I got you. I'm the medic. The medic hunter. Turn invisible again. Where's this guy? Cracked his shield. Heard like an Apex Legends call that. I crack your shield, team. I crack your shield. <laughs> I just... Where is the sword ammo? Why am I not getting any more? I need it. I need to show off the Black Talon some more. It's the whole point of this video. What kind of scuffed Black Talon video is it when we have an empty sword the whole time? Fudge Knuckles. Or we could smack him with it, I guess. No, I wouldn't. Yeah, that's not a very good idea. <laughs> not helpful to anybody at all. I like that. How did I miss the first shot? I'm so bad. I'm trash. I'm just bad at this game. Give me sword ammo, please. I mean, I have the sword ammo finder on and everything. It's just not happening, eh? Just nothing's dropping. We're killing so many things. This is a pretty long boss fight. Is this strike just long overall? Maybe it is. I wonder if that actually does damage. I don't think it would, but I need to try it. I need to test everything while I'm at it, you know? Oh, you nerd. No, he's immune again because of that. Kill it. <sighs> okay. This is becoming more of a strike video than a weapon review. But again, if I was doing Crucible, I wouldn't have gotten any sword ammo at all. <laughs> I would have been just peeking around the corner hitting people with an empty sword. Oh, excuse me, princesses. Let me just... Oh, that actually did some damage. Whoa! I was about to check with the ammo, but now we got teleported. Alright. My time to snipe! Oh! Oh, two headshots in a row! Oh my god! Okay, now if I could do that consistently, it'd be pretty awesome, wouldn't it? Bop! Bop! Excuse me, Prince! You mongrel! I'd appreciate it if you didn't freeze me, you troll! I'm not happy with you, you hear me? Hup. Hup. Quickly, let's keep going. Hup. Hup. I do like triple jump. That's the one thing I do enjoy about Hunter is uh, triple jump. Let's just invis our friend here. Now he's invisible while he's in a rift. <laughs> oh, you dead. You didn't drop any power ammo either. These enemies are lame, bro. Alright. Back at the boss area. Make him invisible. Oh, that still hits us too. The area effect on it is way bigger than I thought. Going in, ladies. I'm just going to hit the boss. If I don't get the sword ammo, then whatever. I have showed off the sword, at least. I need to finish this. Whoa! Okay, maybe I should stop hitting the attack button so much. I kind of went ham with it there. Oh, nope. Not what I, <laughs> not what I wanted to do at all. <laughs> sword! Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Yeet! Look at that damage! Look at it! Yeah, get him. You're going down, big boy. Got him. And that's the sword, baby. That's the Black Talon. It's an absolute monster. Thank God we got ammo the last second. <laughs> you see that damage I just did? 
smacked him in the face. And that is why I recommend this sword, the Black Talon, for uh, PvE. Because if you just want to do strikes and stuff, and you want to take down mages, elites, and uh, even, um, uh, it even does good damage to champions once you weaken them, obviously, with your mods. But uh, bosses, it's a beast. I do like it. So, uh, in short, this strike was really cool. I definitely want to do the strike from the very start and experience the whole thing. It was definitely a lot of fun. I really liked it. And, uh, yeah, Black Talon is a great, 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 great sword. It does a lot of more damage than Legendary. So if you don't, if you don't have a primary or secondary exotic that you don't want to use, like if you've got a free exotic slot and you want to try a sword, give this one a go. I haven't tried the other exotic swords, so they're probably better. I don't know. But, uh, I would 100% recommend Black Talon any day of the week. So, uh, if you don't have it, well, uh, hopefully it drops for you. And if you do have it and you haven't used it, what are you doing? Get this thing. Uh, get the uh, catalyst for it too. I forgot to mention the catalyst. Uh, shots blocked immediately after guarding increased damage of crow's wings for a very short duration. So if you do actually like parry an attack, then the range attack crow's wings does even more damage. I forgot to uh, do any blocking today because I was uh, very aggressive. <laughs> but increased damage never hurts. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I uh, hope you guys are enjoying the Witch Queen stuff. If you're playing it, the new strikes and the story, the campaign is really fantastic. I need to finish that. Hope you guys are enjoying that stuff. Hope you liked the video. Remember to hit the like and subscribe button. If you did, it is free and it really helps me out. Check out the Juice website, description below. That'd be really awesome too. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys just had a good time. <laughs> so until the next time, guys, dodge that game over screen. I am Phantom Man 100, and I'm signing out for now.